Are you in the unfortunate situation where you've inherited a property and you're not sure whether or not you want to fix it up to sell it or just sell it as is? Stay tuned for my advice on which way to go. Hey guys, it's Peggy Yee here with Frankly Realtors, and I'm a local real estate agent here in Northern Virginia. Uh, I've sold a lot of inherited properties, and um, today I'm going to give you a couple things to think about uh, for selling an inherited property. So one of the questions I get from a lot of my clients is whether or not they should fix up the property or they should just sell it as is. Um, oftentimes, inherited properties may not be well maintained. Um, they may not have been updated, things like that. And so a lot of times they do need work. Um, and so it's a natural question of whether or not you actually want to do the work or uh, just sell it quickly and as is. Um, one of the things you want to take into account is um, how much work there actually is. Uh, if you've inherited, you know, a single family home that's, you know, five bed, three bath, and it just hasn't been updated for 30 years, um, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of upfront money to make the repairs and, um, and actually get it um, sold for top dollar. Uh, so that's something that you want to consider is whether or not um, how much work there is and if you as you know the heir or if the estate has the amount of money to put into the property to actually um, get it uh, up to updated. Um, if you don't, then the second option of selling it as is is definitely going to be the better option to go with if you don't have any money to actually put into the property. So, uh, but on the other hand, let's say you have a, you know, one bedroom condo that, you know, was, was built 10 years ago and maybe it needs a little bit of cosmetic updates, but overall it's in good condition. Um, so in those kinds of cases, it, it may actually make sense to just go ahead and do those updates, especially if you do have the upfront cash to invest into the property to make it sell for top dollar. Um, and so in that type of situation, I've had clients go ahead with, um, actually making the updates and, um, and and selling it for top dollar that way. So it really depends on your situation of how much work the property actually needs and whether or not you have the upfront funds to actually invest in the repairs. Um, if you guys are still thinking about it and not sure which way to go, feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to talk to you guys about your specific situation and um, give you some things to think about on which way to go. I also have an awesome contractor that I can introduce you to. So if you're not sure how much the repairs are actually going to cost, um, that's something that I can help you with as well. As always, I'm here to help. So if you guys have any questions or anything you need, feel free to reach out to me anytime. My phone number is 703-349-0143 or email me at peggy at peggyyee.com. Thanks.